This is a what is up my dudes welcome back to my channel today we are going to be talking about my dumpster tarantula so if you haven't seen that video i'll give a quick recap but i'll link the full one below just in case you missed it basically a few months ago a friend of mine contacted me and said that one of his co-workers found a tarantula in their living room. He took it up to their work to see if anybody wanted it. And when nobody did, he said he was just gonna throw it in the dumpster. Fortunately, my friend knows that I keep tarantulas and he contacted me. I went and retrieved the spider and it is an Aphonopelma hensi, which is the native tarantula here in Missouri. So I have had it for quite a while and I did say that I would give an update once it molted because a lot of people were asking me how it was doing. If you do remember, there was like a weird kind of maybe something like drywall or hairspray or something stuck to its carapace. So I was a little concerned, but I didn't think it was like a parasite or anything like that. And I also didn't know if it was male or female because I needed a molt to verify, although I did have my suspicions that it was male. So that is just kind of like a quick rundown. The whole video is linked below. Finally, it molted and I wanna give you guys an update, tell you if it's male or female, everything like that. But before we do that, I did want to announce that the tarantulacommunity.com is now open to the public. It is a new forum that derived from the Tarantula Community Facebook group that was recently shut down by Facebook. But anyway, there is now a Tarantula Community forum. It's really cool. It just opened. So, you know, they're still working things out. If you are looking for some tarantula resources or just to make more tarantula keeping friends, I recommend that website. I will link it down below. Like I said, it's still a little bit of a work in progress, but what they've done so far is super cool and I have high hopes for this site. And also before we jump into the dumpster tarantula, I have a couple more molts I want to show you guys. So let's get started. Oh my god! Okay, so the first tarantula that molted that I am super happy about is my homeoma species blue. And I'm not quite sure if it's ready to eat yet or not, but I figured we could go ahead and try because I do have a few crickets here. As you guys can see though, it is so pretty. It's really got like some grayish blue legs and its carapace is kind of turning like an orangey color with a few little bright hairs on its abdomen. This one's probably still a little bit too small to find out if it's male or female. I do have a magnifying glass that is pretty handy, but it's not a, a miracle worker. So I don't think that we're gonna be able to find out if it's male or female until the next molt. So I'm really not gonna even bother pulling this one out. Okay, let's see if it will eat. Like I said, I'm not really sure, but, oh. <laughs> so slings actually don't take as long to recover. So it's not too terribly surprising that this one did decide to eat now. Sorry my fish tank is so loud, but just look at those colors. This is one of my all time favorite tarantulas in my collection. So I am super happy that it's finally growing. All right, we actually have my pea sazamai. She's pretty skittish, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys down there. So as you see, she's not really getting that coloration just yet, but she is a little blue. So it's, it's kind of coming through, but not quite. It'll be probably a minute before she really brings on those adult colors, but I'm happy that she finally molted because I feel like she's molting very slow. And when I say she, I'm assuming hopefully it's a female because then you have them a long time. I don't think she's quite ready to eat yet though. So we will just leave it at that for now. This is my Brachypelma shidori. So you guys know that I recently got this one after Mew, my Ecampus stratus, unfortunately passed away from impaction. So this was kind of my cheer up reward, I guess, to myself. It's quite a bolty little sling and I'm not really sure if this one's quite ready to eat because I think it molted like two days ago, but we can go ahead and try. Of course, if it doesn't go for it right away though, I will remove the prey. No, not ready, but that's okay. We'll try again in a few days. I gotta go buy more crickets anyway so I can find a larger one to plump it up once it is ready to eat. But yeah, if you guys don't know, this is probably one of my favorite species. It is also called the Mexican Black Velvet because as adults, they are actually pure black like a Gramostola pulchra. Unfortunately, like I said, it's not ready to eat quite yet, but 
that's all right because we'll get a really, really big fat cricket to plump in this one up and keep it growing nice. Okay, yes, this is my big Grandma Stole Poker Peas male. So as you guys can see, he just molted and the reason why I'm so happy about it is because he finally matured into a male. So if you guys didn't know, I do have a female named Pikachu. She is a mature female, and so I was just waiting on him to molt. So that is amazing news. That means we can finally start planning to breed them soon. As you see, his molt is so big. He is a big guy. Look at those teeth, you guys. Oh my gosh, that would just be so painful to get bit by. Fortunately, Grand Stole Poker Peas are pretty docile though, and usually recommended as the best beginner tarantula. You can actually get a good look in here and see that it is male without even having to manipulate it too much. Nonetheless, this is a really cool molt, so I'm gonna hang on to this for my little molt collection. I don't think he's ready to eat yet, but I just wanted to update you guys because yeah, this is what we were waiting for. Now on to the dumpster tarantula. I did record a little bit of footage from the other day. I'll go ahead and insert that here of me sexing the molt. All right, so you guys have been asking me like crazy how the dumpster tarantula is doing and I just discovered that he or she recently molted. So I don't know the gender yet and I'm not sure if we're ready to eat, but I thought we could go ahead and try to check the molt. Oh, I do want to try to get the molt, so hopefully. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this molt says. Hopefully we didn't destroy it beyond recognition. I will say that I originally suspected male. Okay, but first let's give her some water because she's probably thirsty after that molt. So I will just take the malt and I will put it in this warm soapy water. I just do a little bit of dish soap in it and make it warm and then you just kind of want to try to get it to submerge and let it soak in there for just like a few minutes. I also recommend a couple toothpicks because this is going to help you poke it apart to get a good look at the abdomen. And once it's been a few minutes you can pull the malt out and you're gonna wanna try to keep it like as intact as possible. So I just pull it up like this. So everything looks intact, so this shouldn't be too terribly difficult, I hope. Let's try to unfold this. This is a meal, nothing. Where I'm looking is right between these two book lungs. If this was female, there would be a flap right about here, and there would also be some indication of female parts. So it looks like I was correct. It is an immature male of Phonopilma hensi. So yeah, as you guys know now, this is in fact a male, which is what I did suspect. I do have a female, but she is quite a bit smaller than him. I'm going to try to slow him down a little bit in growth by feeding him less frequently and keeping him in a bit cooler of an area. However, it's not guaranteed he might still mature before she's ready, but I figured why not give it a try. So I think he's ready to eat because when I filmed that footage, it was a few days ago and I just wanted to wait a minute before I... Oh! <laughs> Definitely worked up an appetite. <laughs> Look how gorgeous he looks. So yeah, he is not mature yet. I'm sure he's got quite a few molds before maturity, but look how gorgeous he is. He's got the fuzziest legs ever. His abdomen is so red. And as you guys see, his carapace no longer has that weird film on it that I kind of suspect is like drywall or maybe hairspray, something it walked through. I'm not really sure. When I did make that video, a lot of people told me that I should name it Oscar. And so at the time, I didn't know if it was female or male. And I don't really name all my tarantulas, but I do name a few, especially if I think of a really good name for one. So you guys all said to name him Oscar. I saw it suggested so many times. So I figured we'll go ahead and name him 
Oscar since I do know now that he is in fact male. I know a lot of times when somebody will have a tarantula that molts male, they'll be disappointed. I already have a female, so I don't feel really disappointed. In fact, I hope that we can breed them in the future. But yeah, that is my little update with Oscar. And yeah, I'll feature him in a few feeding videos coming up. So yeah, you can see him then. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. Okay, thank you guys so much. I have a few more videos already in the works for you guys, plus a ton planned. So don't forget to subscribe if you're not, so you don't miss them. And I always forget to say hit the notification bell, but like, okay. <laughs>